In this tutorial, I'm going to give you a run through of all the One Social theme options. So, from the front end, if you're an admin, you can go to Dashboard One Social Options, and this will take you into our theme options panel. So, the first thing we have is logo. If you turn this off, when you go to the front end, you can upload a logo and it will display here. Header, we can change the header style from full width, as you see right now, to a skinny style. Let's save that. And you can see the style has changed. So here in the layout section, we can turn on or off infinite scrolling of activity posts and blog posts. And then here in the responsive area, we can determine which layout we want to serve to each type of device. One Social has a layout for desktop, a layout for tablet, and a layout for mobile. So let's just go check that out for a second. This would be the mobile layout. And here in the admin, you can select which layout you want to serve by default to each of the different devices. And then you can give users an optional button at the bottom that lets them change the layout um, on their device as well. Let's move on to cover photos. So on groups, you can turn cover photos on or off. You can have the size big or small and upload a default photo for your group. Um, we can turn on the admin bar for logged in administrators so that we get our regular WordPress admin toolbar up here. And we've got a bunch of other options. Let's keep going. We have typography. You'll see we've given you a large selection of the Google font library. And you can select the font and the size and the weight for um, all of the areas in the theme where you would see a font loading. And then if we move on to styling, we can change the colors for every area of the theme. We can edit the login and register content that comes with the theme. So here we are viewing the site logged out. We've got this really nice login screen and a really nice custom register screen. We can edit the content that's going to go in there. Here we can add custom tracking code like Google Analytics. We can add custom CSS, custom JavaScript that will output on the front end. We can set the theme to automatically display minified CSS and JavaScript to improve performance. And let's go down to import export. This is really nice. You can save all of your theme options as an exported data file and then you can import that and it will reset the theme to everything you saved. So this is really convenient if you need to migrate your site to another server or duplicate it or if you need to interact with our support staff you can send them the exported theme options so they know exactly what you did.